another year and we got another disaster everybody hopefully it's not gonna be a disaster this time guys i got a video that i want to share with you guys because apparently treyarch has dropped another t-shirt for the next black ops 6 game and everybody's shaking right now Sega's doing helicopters with their release people letting their dogs out as well and and apparently uh, charlie intel also made a post uh brother saying uh, uh my bad that's actually Bruh. me that posted that right but you can see like a lot of people are really really excited men says that let's go so hyped uh, yeah uh people are really really excited <laughs> just going to call it black ops gulf war we are so back but are we actually back i want to know your thoughts and guys on the last video you guys absolutely killed it 300 likes within the first hour i mean holy crap right y'all went Yo, gang gang so cool. gang up uh, gang up on the like button let's go for three likes on this video as well kaji but check this out roll it boo boo Black Ops hype train has officially begun. The Black Ops hype train has officially begun because today Call of Duty added the very first official in-game teaser for Call of Duty Black Ops 6. And not only that, but it's also a tease of an imminent yeah. announcement or reveal of the game as teased by Triarch themselves here on Twitter. Uh, homie kind of shaking right now. <gasps> Oh, I'm shaking. Uh, not gonna lie, the homie's shaking though. Twitter. So jumping straight in with today's Yay. update for Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone, developers added a very sneaky update it. to the loot pool within Warzone Rebirth Island. Now, two weeks ago when the Season 3 Reloaded update dropped, data miners were able to find a secret blueprint upcoming, which was themed around the classic Black Ops M1911. And many okay. believe this okay. would be a reward that you'd get from completing yeah. the reveal event yeah. in-game. Well, turns yeah. out that is not the case, and this Black Ops-themed weapon can now be found randomly within Warzone. And that is what you're seeing. This is the Black Ops M1911. Any one of you can find this in your games, pick it up and use it. And you're going to want to Crazy. do that because... Man, the, the, the fact that these things are not charging like $100 for this one. Yeah, give it up for Activision, guys. Absolutely. Clap it up. The fact that these things are not charging us $100. You think it's crazy? This might be the first time ever that Activision is giving their customers something for free. But I, I guess, I, I guess, like uh, it's not gonna be for free because when the game comes out, they're gonna double the microtransactions. I'm, I'm afraid, guys. The fact that they gave this for free. They're gonna come in to collect the money with the Black Ops uh, Guild for or the Black Ops. Not only has this Black Ops themed Hopefully weapon not. been added to the game, but you can unlock it permanently. And you Damn. can unlock it right now, way before what? any sort of oh, in-game reveal event. And you can randomly come across this in loot crates across Warzone like you're seeing wow. here. And let's talk about how to unlock it permanently and why this is here now. Starting yeah. off, if we inspect this, you can see that it is the classic Black Ops 1 Mustang and Sally in its full glory, but you can see that on both pistols, yeah. the word Sally that has been so... etched in. But in the original, it had eight tally marks, but in yeah. this version, it has six tally marks, which is what a lot of the community has used as proper evidence for this game to actually be called Black Ops 6. Yeah, this is the reason why everybody's like, this is going to be Black Ops 6. I mean, yeah, kind of makes sense, right? Because Bla I, I know some people are saying, yo, where is Black Ops 5, bro? Like, where is a uh, uh, six Black Ops game, but the name is Black Ops? Ops 5. Uh, now, it's not going to be called Black Ops 5, but I, I saw, like, people saying that, yeah, what happened to BO5, this guy said, uh, technically, Black Ops Cold War was the Black Ops 5, or the fifth Black Ops game, rather, but it wasn't titled Black Ops 5. Maybe in the future, they can still do, like, Black Ops 5. It's, like, one of those uh, things with Fast and Furious as well, right? Like, they always say it's a last ride, it's a la one last ride, one last ride for the family, but it's uh, never a last ride, guys, never a last ride. So, uh, also, with this game, uh, I, I don't know, like, I and also, also, before I show you guys this, right, like I, I actually marked the, the timestamp down, I, I also am wondering what's going to happen, like what, what's the tagline is going to be about this game, right, because I do remember for the fact that, uh, you know, Black Ops 4, they were also saying that it's, uh, forget what you know, are they also going to say forget the failure? Maybe this time their tagline is going to be, yeah, forget the BBC bundles. I, I, if they do that, I, I, I think that would be perfect. That Bill perfect. is pretty soon. Now, according to leakers on Twitter, such as Vondi is Pog, as well as a few others, for the last week or so, they have been drilling a date that everyone should pay attention to, being May 22nd, a week exactly from this video going live. I don't know what information they have, but they are alluding to something happening on May 22nd. Now, if I was a guessing man, I would assume that what we're seeing here today with the Black Ops 
drops pistols in Warzone is the beginning <sighs> of what will be a sleuth of marketing yeah. teasers uh -oh. and hype uh -oh. that we're going to be getting starting. So, yeah, I think this is going to start. But honestly, bro, jokes aside, though, I, I think this reveal is going to be a banger, though. I think this is going to be a banger. You guys remember Black Ops uh, Cold War, right? Call of Duty 2020. They did the pawn takes pawn website thing. In the beginning, a lot of people were excited, but then people got bored. But then when they revealed the game, a lot of people were shaking, actually, right? And fast forward to now and, and looking back a lot of people would say that was a good reveal at the time yeah it got a little bit boring and they stretched it out but then like wh what did we get modern warfare 2022 Bruh. call of duty van garbage Bruh. then modern warfare 3 2023 Bruh. yeah right like come on now and right now a lot of people are saying the last good call of duty game was cold war and i, I have to agree i have to agree so this time trek is making a comeback uh, and i really hope they make a comeback i i, I hope that they they don't like yeah i, I don't want to be looking like this bro i don't want to be looking like this today bro. and as soon as tomorrow if not later in the week or very early next week we might get the tease might. of that day alluding to something happening now there is a chance that these leakers could be completely wrong but what we know from cold hard facts is that june 9th is very likely to be the full reveal yeah. for this game on yeah. the xbox showcase it is pretty much confirmed like they they actually teased already that yeah during the xbox event they're gonna reveal it absolutely okay, yeah. so that's reported by one of the renowned insiders inside of gaming they say that there is going to be some sort of announcement of the game before june 9th when exactly we don't know what we do know from data miners is that they found coding that relates to oh, some sort oh, of shaking. game reveal for this game as we know the code name of the game is leaked to be called Cerberus, the teaser image from Microsoft themselves, shows this game with an image of a three-headed dog, which is literally yeah. what Cerberus is called. And within the files of- I, I hope that's not like a significant or, or what's the word? I, I hope that doesn't have- I, I hope that's not a metaphor for that for the game file size to be three times bigger than the last game Bruh. you feel what i'm saying i gotta show you this the game Wait data miners it. have found that there is some sort of reveal in season three with the coding being s3 underscore cerberus underscore reveal meaning at some point during season three and Ow. we are only Ow. two weeks away from season four we are gonna be getting <laughs> a full-on announcement oh, from treyarch and activision on this game uh, guys i, I want to say this okay like if you're standing up sit down and, and I actually covered this in the last uh, Call of Duty video that we did, right? But I think it's important that while we're on the topic at hand, a homeboy of mine actually sent me this picture and look at this, bruh. So he got Black Ops Cold War. That's separate, okay? 99 gigabytes. Let's round it up to 100 gigabytes, right? And then he got Call of Duty installed. I'm assuming like maybe Modern Warfare 2023, Modern Warfare 2022. I don't know. Alongside Warzone, gotta be Warzone as well. Or maybe Warzone alone. 300 gigabytes. <laughs> 306 gigabytes plus 99 gigabytes that's like 405 gigabytes you suck as crazy you suck as crazy guys if you have twitter i would definitely love to have you uh, on twitter okay i let's get back to the let's get back to the content now boo boo where we're very likely gonna have the game's logo revealed, the name, who's developing it, and maybe it's some Shrek, sort yeah. of teaser trailer. If we get anything like what we got for Black Ops Cold War with that teaser trailer, oh my god, I cannot wait. Now, I think we may need to temper our expectations a little bit about what this in-game reveal could actually be, because I would love to see some sort of porn takes porn reveal, where we as a community need to work out a bunch of clues and Easter eggs for days, if not Yo, it sounded something else though. I, yeah, like the way he said it though. Like it, I, I feel like that the YouTube captions bot is gonna take it for like the hub type situation though. Yeah, yeah, pronounce it well, bruh. Like, cause otherwise you get shot down by the YouTube police, bruh weeks on end that lead to a date where we need to be inside a war zone where we're going to see the reveal trailer but we kind of already know that, that reveal that. trailer and a deep uh, dive which will likely maybe. include campaign gameplay maybe even some slight teasers on multiplayer and zombies is going to be on june 9th so i don't think they're going to reveal everything before june 9th because that is going to be where all the eyes are going to be watching guys check out this video on the screen because this is what xbox and microsoft did recently there's a whole lot of drama they have apparently went woke and you want to see like people's and gamers response i don't think you're ready for this one yeah this is a video where people and you guys actually dropped 300 likes within the first hour because the drama is crazy 
check this out and i'll see you there on the left this video is on my second channel yeah second channel guys second channel check it out and i'll see you right there